Hi honeys, it's Michelle. In this video, I'm going to show you some stuff that I got at the Dollar Tree. There's lots of new stuff here and I'm excited to show you. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, in this video, it's going to be um, mostly food items with some household items and a little bit of fun mixed in. I got some bread today. This is Busy Baker white bread that's enriched, which if I'm going to get bread, I like enriched bread. And one thing I found about this now, okay, so this expires June 17th. What I usually do with bread, because there's just two of us, is I will take about half of the loaf and I'll put it, put about four slices in each Ziploc bag and throw them in the freezer. And that way we always have fresh bread and we don't have bread going bad. Because if this sat on our counter, um, it'd probably be there for two weeks before we went through the whole thing. So I find that makes it a lot um, easier to not waste food. But one thing I really liked about this when I was looking at it, <clears throat> this is made, well, first off, it doesn't have any corn syrup in it, which, you know, I hate corn syrup. I always try to make sure things don't have it in there. But it's made by Lucerne Foods in Pleasanton, California, which that's a really good brand. And so I'm, it made me feel a little better about buying bread that I've never heard of before. You guys know by now I love these. I got two more of these. These are the throwback recipe premium lasagna, pasta and tomato and meat sauce. We just love these. They don't have all the crap fillers in them and they just taste so much better than your regular canned pasta. And these expire Let's see, October 21st, October 21st of 2020, which they'll be gone by my next video. <laughs> then I found, now these have been at the Dollar Tree for a long time, but I love these. I really do. And if you go to the grocery store to get them, they're about $3 each. So I got one of the Healthy Choice Chicken Noodle and one of the Healthy Choice Chicken um, Rice. And these, they're really good. They are healthier than other soups. Their sodium level is lower than other soups. The ingredients look good. I don't see any crappy fillers. You know, I don't like crappy fillers. The big one is corn syrup. That's one of the um, fillers that I have discovered researching is really bad for you, but also your body, there's no nutritional value to it. So it tends to turn to fat in your body, which... I got enough of that. And these both expire in March of 2022. Then I found this. This is Azul Coconut Water. It does have coconut pieces in it, but I like it like that. You can get the ones that don't have them in there. I don't know if, I didn't even look to see if they had ones that didn't have coconut pieces because I just love the little chunkies in there. But these are 16 and a half ounces each. What you wanna do is chill and shake these before you drink them. The ingredients are very good. It does have some sugar added to it. But here's, here's the point in this though. If you're ever feeling really dehydrated, maybe you have been sick or maybe you're hungover. This is what is going to make you feel better right away. Coconut is chock full of electrolytes and so it helps you get rehydrated faster. And this particular brand, let's see, it's made in East Brunswick, New Jersey. And this is made with 90% coconut water. 90%. A lot of these drinks, if you actually look on the back, it's like 3% coconut water. I'm not looking for that kind of crap, you know, but this looks good. It looks like it's going to be as good for you as you can get. It does have sugar, but it's the fourth ingredient. So I got two of these and these expire 
Um, they both expire. Oh, sorry. One is in February and one is in March of 2022. In the frozen area, I got some of this pepper stir fry veggies. These are made in China. Distributed by Meridian, Idaho. Okay, well now I know. Uh, the ingredients are peppers and onion. And I just thought this would be good with some ground beef, maybe some um, rice and some nice flavoring. I just thought that sounded really good. Maybe throw some tomatoes, canned tomatoes or something in there. Speaking of flavoring, this is what I thought looked like it would be good with it. Creole Foods. It's Tony Cochere's Creole Foods Creole Seasoning. So I had that in mind for the meal I was just talking about. This has salt, red pepper, black pepper, chili powder, um, garlic powder. Sounds good. And this expires May of 2022. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This stir fry... The stir fry expires in March of 2022. I got two more of these. You guys, childhood memories galore. I love this stuff. Cannot get enough of it. Ever since I started eating it during the lockdown, I'm kind of hooked on it. So I try to not get it every month, but sometimes you just have to treat yourself. So this has, it's Bar S Classic Bologna made with chicken and pork. And it's 12 ounces, no MSG, no artificial flavors or colors. It's gluten-free. This does have corn syrup in it. So like I said, I do cheat sometimes. I just try not to any more than I have to. Um, this is made in Phoenix, Arizona. It expires August of 2020. So that's what this is. This stuff from when we were kids, it has a little... Red plastic on the outside. Just love this stuff though. Can't help it. But that's what the bread was for. So I can make these for lunch. And then we figured, I figured I'd either, you know, I probably have, we'd throw some of this in there as a side to go with it. Another thing that we really like are these Jimmy Dean stuffed breakfast sticks. They have sausage, eggs, and cheese wrapped in dough. And we think they're really good. Are they healthy? Probably not. Um, I mean, we don't eat them every day, but about once a month, I'll get two of them. Uh, Chicago, Illinois. Not seeing an expiration date on here. All right. Then, the last thing I got in the frozen aisle, this is just a fun little snack. I guess I could put this with the other ones, but this is pancake and sausage bites. Pancake batter covered, covering sausage links, <sighs> right? New fluffier pancakes expire August 8th, 2020. And these are microwavable, so you can microwave them in the pouch. I just thought that sounds so good. Does that sound good? I figured that this would be so nice to just make one of these for each of us and then make like eggs and like, I don't know, some toast or something. So yummy. I also got... These. I love these. I had been getting these at the grocery store for $3 each. And so I was very excited to find these at the Dollar Tree. These are the Goya seasonings. I like to use these in stew or vegetables. I've got a couple vegetable recipes that I have where I just make a bunch of vegetables. And this is the perfect flavoring for it. And then this is chicken flavored bouillons. This has eight packets. This might be one big cube, like if you're going to cook a whole chicken or something. I'll have to read up on it. Oh, yeah, it's one cube. So this is good for um, if you're making chicken noodle soup from scratch or you're making like a full chicken or a bunch of chicken thighs or something like that. That's what I would use this for. Okay, I found another full-size box of Lucky Charms. This is not the same one as the other one. This is the traditional kind. 
And this is a special edition. I don't know. Seaside for details. Oh, you can win money with this one. But this one has 19 grams of whole grain per serving, which is actually quite nice. And then it's got this fun little thing on the back that when I was a little kid, I would have loved to have played with. <laughs> Isn't that cute? You can cut open the door and have the door open and close and play with the little castle. And this expires the 18th of December, 2020. And this is name brand. It's General Mills. But then I found this. You guys, have you seen this? I have not seen this. This is another full-size box. It's 10.6 um, ounces of drumstick cereal. Classic vanilla with other flavors. So here's what that looks like. Yummy. So I'm excited to try this and see what I think. This is also General Mills. It's got a little bit less sugar than the other one. They both have more than the, the Lucky Charms that I bought last time that has the, um, oh shoot, what are those things that came with it? Cornflakes? The cornflakes aren't the sweetened kind. They're just plain cornflakes, and then it's got the marshmallows in it. So that one has quite a low amount of sugar in it compared to a lot of these sugary cereals. And I, to be honest with you, I love it. I like it more than traditional Lucky Charms. It's so good. And it's a little bit less, I, I don't feel as guilty eating it. So what this has in it, it says down here on the side are cone cereal pieces, like an ice cream cone. And then it's got ice cream flavored scoops. And then it's got cocoa nuggets. Oh, that sounds really good. I got this for Marty. It's a cat toy that looks like a fish. He loves these big fish looking cat toys. I don't know where his other ones are. They're always all over the place, but he loves these. I thought I'll just spray it with some catnip. I have some of that spray catnip that um, I spray on, on his scratching post and uh, we'll, we'll see how he likes this. But this is made by the Dollar Tree. It doesn't look like it has catnip in it though. It's kind of odd. It doesn't smell like catnip, but yeah, I just thought that was super cute. So we'll see how he reacts to this. And it's got a little bell in it somewhere. I found this in the kid area. It's a three pack of storage trays. They're teaching tree, which is made by um, the Dollar Tree. And there's three of them. They've got like the little no skid thing on the bottom and they, they can attach so you can put them side by side in a drawer. But I just keep finding myself wishing that I had these for different things around the house. Like I, I need one in the office. I need one in the bathroom, so on and so forth. So I was excited to find three of these for a dollar. You know, if you go anywhere other than the Dollar Tree to buy these, it's usually way more expensive for stuff like this. I got two of these. These are in the cooking area. And these are made uh, by the Dollar Tree. I One of the girls I watch on here, I can't remember who, she said that you can put these in the bathroom for your guests and you can put toilet paper on them. Two rolls of toilet paper. And I just thought that was the greatest idea I've heard in a long time because we usually buy the huge things of toilet paper and I don't really want that out. It just looks so clunky and ugly. But if I could have two rolls of toilet paper on here all the time, that would be nice. That way we never feel like we're having to go find the toilet paper or it's just nice to be able to refill as you run out. You don't have to try to remember to go find it when you leave the bathroom. So I just think this is a nice idea. I'm going to try it. I got one of these in the last video I did and I was going to use them for YouTube and I do. Sorry, I hope that's not too bright. It's sitting right here and it's lighting up my face and I just love this. It's a nice natural looking light, but it is very bright. So you could use it as a, um, like if you're reading at night, you could use it for that. 
you, there's so many things you could use it for, but I wanted to get a second one because I just thought this would be really nice to have handy. I got a pack of two of these a while ago. Um, these are made by the Dollar Tree and I really like them and I wanted a bigger one that I can put, you know, in the shower, you've got your shower caddy and they always have the little holes on the bottom. Well, I like to use the Dove Sensitive Skin bars of soap and once they get about halfway through, they start sliding through the holes. And so I wanted to put this between <laughs> the little bars that go across and the soap to keep it from falling because it's just a little bit more stress than I need in my life right now. Then I found this cute little pack here. It's safety pins, 100 count. These are made by the Dollar Tree. And there's three different sizes. And they come in this little plastic. Let me take it out so you can see. Come in a little plastic box. But I went to Michael's recently. And I got some safety pins. Or was it? No, it was Joanne's. Have you seen how much money these things are at a sewing store? It was crazy. I got, I think it was like $6 for like 10 of them. It's like, okay, well, I'm not doing that again. So I saw this and it's got this little, I don't want to have them come flying out here. It's got the little hinge on it and you just take it off and it keeps the three sizes separated and then you can put it back on. So I'm going to put this in my sewing kit maybe put a couple in my purse first because you know I feel like I always have like some kind of an emergency <laughs> where I need <laughs> safety pins. Another thing that we have found that we really need is a um, I call them a jeweler tool set but these are on here called precision it's a precision blah, 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 precision screwdriver set pack of six. It just seems like we're constantly needing these lately and we don't have them. And I told Brad, well, I can get them at the Dollar Tree and they come in this little nice case. And I'll just keep these probably with um, the batteries and the light bulbs and that kind of stuff. And that way we always can find them on hand because he's got so many tool boxes and they're, they've got a bunch of big tools. And, you know, so I'm just going to keep this with our regular smaller stuff. I'm so excited I found this. They have this little guy here at the Dollar Tree. They had four or five different ones, but this is a cute little frog cross stitch set. And it's on the little plastic that you cross stitch. This is great for kids if you're trying to teach them how to cross stitch. It does come, it said it comes with, oh yeah, there it is. It's got this real cheap little needle. I'll probably use a real metal needle, but I think this is great for kids to teach them how to cross stitch. And I love this little frog. I love the color. I've got this whole set of frogs that was my grandma's and I want to put it on display one day uh, when I get a home. And I thought this, I could put this in like a frame or put it on wood or do something with it and put that kind of up behind the frogs and I just thought that would be super cute so that's what this is for I thought it'd be a fun thing to do on a Sunday when I'm watching a movie and want to do something with my hands or something this will be perfect but they did they had I want to say it was five or six different things I know they had a butterfly and so on and so forth and a lot of people are showing these in their halls right now and some of the ladies that do Dollar Tree buy one of each thing especially if you know of uh, ladies on the dollar that do Dollar Tree videos that have kids. They'll buy one for each kid and that kind of thing. So some people have um, all the... Oh, actually, you know what? It shows it on here. Hold on. So here's the different ones that you can get. You can get the frog. What is that? It Dinosaur, a heart, or a butterfly. So cute. I love all the creative toys that the Dollar Tree has come up with. Such a great idea. I, 
But I um I do always look in the toy section because you never know when you're going to see something like this. And I know, in case you're wondering, well, why is she going through the toy section when she doesn't have kids? It's fun to find stuff like that. But also, I want to start keeping a lookout because we like to do um, like the angel trees at Christmas, you know, give to, uh, toys to Toys for Tots. Or last year, we did um, the Battered Women's Shelter. I think it was the year before that. We did like a one of those gift tree things like you where you're they call it like an angel and um that was for a, an orphanage so stuff like that so i just want to start looking at toys especially at the dollar tree because sometimes you find really good stuff that um, we can put in gifts for kids at christmas time this year i think there's going to be a lot more kids this year than the years before that need uh gifts i think there's gonna be a lot more you know kids whose parents can't afford gifts this year and stuff so Starting to keep my eye out on that. And then I got two books. I'll show you what those are. The first one is 101 Essential Tips for Growing Vegetables. This is another thing that um, I'm not going to be starting right now, but after we get a house, I will. But I just thought this was really nice. And it's, um, let's see, the retail value is $5.95 for this. And so it just goes into the different vegetables. It's got how to actually grow them, where to grow them, all that kind of fun stuff. But a bunch of tips. And I feel like this is something that we all need um, to have in our arsenal in case we ever need to start making our food. But it looks like on the back, this brand has some other ones as well. They have baking, crocheting, sewing, cat care, dog care, yoga, and home brewing. So if you're interested in any of those subjects, you might want to keep your eye out for these at the Dollar Tree. And then the last book I got, <laughs> excuse me, you will laugh when you see it because I don't need it, but I will. Okay, your menopause Bible. I'm not in menopause, I'm not in pre-menopause, but I do accept that this will be happening at some point in the near future. I'll probably start going through menopause, I don't know, five or ten years maybe? Maybe, depends. It's hard to say. Um, but this book has just all kinds of, I was looking through it, Maintaining bone health, nutritional supplements. It's got all kinds of looking after your body, home remedies, hormone therapy. And I mean, I've been, I've got, I've got some friends that I play mahjong with and whoa, I wasn't expecting to see naked women there. Oh, it was showing how to do a <laughs> breast exam. I was just, it was a little surprise there. Um, but they, these women were, were telling me that, you know, it would be a good idea to um, really study menopause as it starts to occur because a lot of um, women, I guess, I guess menopause is kind of like having a baby. Your body's never the same and there's certain changes that occur that don't necessarily ever go away. So I guess some women never stop having hot flashes or what have you. So, um, I want to, as soon as I think I might be getting close, I want to start setting it up to make the transition of it a little bit smoother for myself. Um, it's got bladder problems, just all kinds of interesting stuff here. Um, oh, it's got, inter in blah, blah, blah. it's got information on having a hysterectomy and it's also got information on something that I've already been going through which is having cysts in your breasts. And it has information about if you happen to have to, ha if you happen to have, um, have to have your breasts removed from cancer. So just, it's just a wealth of knowledge here. Um, so here it is again. It's your menopause Bible. 
and uh, the consulting editor is Dr. Robin N. Phillips. Table of contents here in case you're interested in this book. It just looks really good. Even if you do have to pay full price, it might be worth it with all the stuff that's in here. Sometimes I feel like so many people are so busy trying to avoid aging that when it starts happening, they don't take care of themselves. Do you feel that way? I feel that way. I feel like a lot, especially women. We just, nope, I'm not aging. I'm in denial. There's <laughs> so, a lot of things that happen when you do. So anyway, uh, the retail value of this is $24.99. And ladies, I got it for a dollar. Just saying. <laughs> not trying to rub it in, but wow. I love, I love some of the wonderful things that I can find at the Dollar Tree. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of everything. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I love you. Bye.